Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So guys, in this video, quickly I'll tell you the smartest way to do revision. And trust me, the way which I'm telling you, it works provided you follow it on sincere and regular basis. So let's start with the session without any single delay. Let me tell you, if you are new to this channel, you can go through my profile. Next, for further upcoming classes, you can join my Telegram group. Now guys, if I talk about the smartest way to do revision, quickly analyze yourself. See, nobody knows better as compared to you know yourself. Okay. So let me tell you first, you have to analyze that what is your favorite learning style. First, this you have to do it. Rest, I'll tell you. First, identify that in which learning style you are very, very comfortable. Number one, are you comfortable by seeing the things? That means by visualizing the things, you are more comfortable, okay? Or you are more comfortable when you do that thing practically or you are more comfortable by hearing it. That means doing it means you are writing it also and enchanting it also. Basically, you are writing it and saying it. Hearing it, that means by using, let us suppose you have recorded your voice and at night when you don't want to study, you are not in a mood that you should open a book, you are very, very comfortable that you can listen to your own voice. It might be trouble in the initial phase, but fine, it works. Okay, so first identify that in which zone you are very, very comfortable your favorite learning style okay this you have to do now coming to the next way is what you have to do see if you're very good in seeing that means if you're very good in visualizing okay like if you are there and you can see it okay fine you just turn the pages and whatever you are seeing it you are able to retain it if you are that sort of person okay then the best way is prepare your notes why because every time when you are re revising you are just seeing your notes and practicing questions so what you have to do is prepare your notes properly okay now in this notes what you have to do don't uh, do that sort of notes in which you keep on writing 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 otherwise if you start to read it it sometimes after a certain time it becomes very monotonous and you don't feel like you should study that okay so don't do this okay remember this very very important don't just write even if you use different color pens you are just writing the notes so ma'am what do you want us to do See, as much as possible, if that subject uh, is uh, like, in a sense, if that subject has uh, diagrammatic pictures, okay, or you can use flow charts, kindly use that because our brain is very active in capturing those pictures, those diagrams, okay, rather than studying in the form of statements. So, if particular topic is there, round about what are the things are there. So, if you have a particular topic related to that, what are the things is there, you can just uh, basically point it out in an arrow and write it or you can create a flow chart. So, the things become easier. Okay. Now, in Telegram and all, you have the habit that you want teacher's notes, you want topper's note. See, I don't say that so there is a harm in that. But what I want is, apart from that, take it as a reference. For sure, you should take it as a reference. But... You should prepare your own notes because you prepared it. So, you know each and everything what you have written. So, you are able to retain it for a longer amount of time. There will be people who will say that no need. There are so many notes available. But trust me guys, if you talk to any topper strategy, they will say that they prepared their own notes. So, stop listening to those people who say that no, don't prepare their notes. Study from others. Don't. No, they are their notes. Prepare your notes. First go, it will take time for sure. Okay, but after that, things will become easier. Okay, you will be able, you will be able to study, to revise that notes for any upcoming competitive examination. So, first time it's a struggle to make notes. After that, if you're studying for any competitive examinations, it's very much easy. Now, coming up next, as I told you, diagrammatic, like if components of building are there, if I talk about civil. So, just write down the things. Create a memory palace. Okay, fine. These are the things. These are the things. Things should be in your bullet. The things should be in your fingertips. Okay. So, that bullet point should be there so that it can be in your fingertips. You, this you should try. Okay. Now, coming next is that uh, if, if before you start your revision, first of all, make it a target like what you have to complete today. I always say to my students that what you are doing to do tomorrow, plan it a day before. Now, what you have to study, let us suppose you have thought that today I'll be studying mathematics, I'll be completing a chapter of probability. So, stick to your plan. At least try to complete 70 to 80% of the things which you have planned. Minimum, it will give you motivation. Now, 
it might be possible that distractions will come let us suppose you thought that today you will study 4 hours your chachi mosi cousins anybody came okay or even a certain guest came or your best friend came after a long time anything would be possible okay so i would say that uh, you don't attend them attend them but then from your sleeping schedule some way you adjust your time so that you are able to fulfill your target okay you have to be very firm that boss anything happens this world will remain or not but i have to complete this you have to be very very firm okay and far as possible this mobile uh, social media distractions try to cut it off now this is a new technique that is promodoro sessions now this technique was developed in 1980s i'll tell you what is promodoro uh, sessions first you have to select a task that may example i have selected a task that today i will be covering mathematics okay now this is my task now in this promodoro sessions what i'll do i'll set a target of 25 minutes okay i'm not studying for 1 hour 1.5 hours i'll study for 25 minutes so for 25 minutes i'll be studying and 5 minutes break i'll take okay then again 25 minutes i'll study then 5 minutes i'll take a break so you can do what you can take four promodoro sessions so this will help you to study for a longer duration see 25 minutes exactly you can focus 25 minutes is not a big thing okay then you can take 5 minutes of break then again 25 minutes then 5 minutes of breaks so you can do this approximately you will be able to study for 2 2.5 hours you can study okay so this is the promodoro sessions select a task divide it into 25 25 minutes interval you can have pro promodoro sessions you can have more promodoro sessions okay this literally works this was developed in 1980s and this technique works for people okay now talking about ma'am multiple subjects are there how to revise so i'll tell you okay i'll tell you how to do it but before that you have to know that what are the things you have to focus what is the important thing now talking about next okay uh, talking about next let's talk about the next thing before moving further so take a target of 70 30 now what is the 70 30 let us suppose you have completed one subject and you are starting another subject so 30% of the time you have to give to the subject which you have already completed and 70% of the time to the subject which you have started to prepare okay so 30% of the time to the subject which you have completed and 70% of the time to the new subject which you have started then if you come next you have to go like 60 30 10 now here already you gave time for the first subject now you give only 10% of the time to the first subject since you have completed the second subject you will give second subject 30% of the time for revision and you have started a new subject so you will give 60% of the time to the third subject which you have started so kindly follow this rule okay now when you will get the fourth subject then what will happen first subject will go because you have given three times first when you revise that entire subject then you give give 30% of the time then you give 10% of the time to that subject so we understand that now that subject will be very very solid for you but that doesn't mean that you leave that subject uh, whenever possible like in a weekends or in a weekday try to solve questions so that you are very very confident that whatever things i have studied it's there in my mind okay so don't leave that subject because i have given you time three times no you have to give that time in a week or in uh, 15 days you have to be in touch with that subject okay and the moment you are stuck go back to your notes revise it this should be your strategy try to follow this pattern this literally works and try to do promodoro sessions if somewhere you are thinking that uh, um, some guest come relative came and you are not able to focus okay leave that enjoy with them after that take out time from somewhere else and study the subjects this you have to do and this what i have told you promodoro sessions and uh, this uh, ratio this is the smartest way to do revision plus what what is more important is first identify whether you are good in uh, basically seeing the notes and studying or basically writing and reading or just hearing if you are good at hearing record all the things with your um, with your phone okay and when you are like i can't study more 
just put your earphones and revise it okay i used to do this in 11th and 12th standard for my chemistry for learning and revising the reactions because you have 300 400 reactions so that time i used to do it and this literally worked for me in my 11th and 12th standard so i guess if you are comfortable but identify the comfort zone for you guys and accordingly try to do revision and guys very very important always keep a time of at least 1 to 2 hours for revision generally for studying and in a hurry to complete the syllabus it's like in hindi we are na aage part piche sa part so what do you mean to say is you run forward to complete the syllabus but whatever you have covered you start to forget forget those things where is not the correct manner okay so make it a target that one 1.5 hours at any cost i have to give for revision okay so this is the smartest way if you have any doubt do comment me in the comment section and scholarship test link is in the description you guys can click on that thank you everybody and if you want to make uh, want me to take any other sessions do comment in the comment section thank you everybody